The American Eagles are the 2013 Patriot League champions in women's volleyball, claiming their 11th title with a 3-0 sweep of Colgate on Sunday at Bender Arena. For the three American seniors, it's their third title in four years, and after losing the Patriot League crown on the road at Colgate last season, it was bittersweet to win at home on Sunday. Honestly, it feels amazing. It's a great feeling being able to play my last Patriot League tournament here on my home court. Um, this will be my third championship, and I am so happy that all the girls got to experience this year. It's a great feeling, especially after last year with Colgate taking the championship from us last year, so I'm so happy that we got to bring this experience to all the fans at home. Honestly, it just, and now I'm looking at all our banners up there, I it just feels so good. It's so nice. Um, after last year, just kind of having that slip up and that really tough loss, it was just kind of like, you know, senior year, we've got to do this, and we are going to do this. So Julie, Kyle, and I really were 100%, I mean, with the team also as well, obviously, but I mean, we just were like, we're not going to give this one up. It's awesome. I'm really proud of our team. We, we have been working hard, and now it's just, who are we going to get for NCAA and we'll get ready for it. The Eagles won in sets of 25-22, 32-30, and 25-19 to earn the Patriot League's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Juliana Crum posted a match high 15 kills including a late point in the thrilling second set to give the Eagles a 31-30 lead. That set up Morgan Hendricks for one of her nine kills to close out the 32-30 set two win. Honestly, that was a great uh... A great win for us in terms of um, momentum. We kind of took the wind out of their sails a little bit. It's hard when you fight that hard to come back in a game like that and you still can't pull it out at the end. So that was a really key win for us in the being able to 3-0 this team. Well, second set was definitely interesting and very important for us. I believe that our serving did a great job and two stops that we made on blocks made a difference. They were hitting great, we were hitting great. It was just a matter of blocking and playing the good defense. It was nerve-wracking, but in a sense it was like, no, no, we got this. Like, this is going to happen. We're going to get this point right here. It's really important in sets like that to not get too nervous. And I honestly, at that point, it's kind of, you know, all in. Uh, everyone's trying their hardest. That's when you have long rallies of people making great digs and people making great saves. So it's really important to not lose your cool in games like that, especially when it's, you know, one point up, one point up. So I think it was really imperative that we really just stayed calm the whole time. No one was doing anything, you know, too crazy, and we just waited for our opportunity to finish them off. American jumped out to a 9-4 lead in the third set, but Colgate rallied to cut it to one point at 16-15. American, however, closed it out with a 9-4 run, capped by an emphatic kill from Hendricks off a great assist by Monica Schmidova. Um, honestly, I will love Monica forever for setting me that game point ball so I could just slam it down because that just, that just felt so good. So honestly, I am like, on another level, I'm so happy right now. It just feels great. She's also happy for her teammate Juliana Crum, who had 31 kills and 19 digs combined in the semifinals and the championship to earn the Patriot League Tournament MVP. I'm so happy for Julie. She 110% deserves it. She um, has fought so hard for this team. I would not, you know, none of us would have been able to do this without her. Obviously, everyone on the team is a big part, but she's such a great leader and just, you know, with her play, like, I just know that if we give the ball to her or, you know, whatever, she's going to get the kill. And knowing that and having that confidence in someone is so pivotal to win a game. Julie definitely makes a difference. She is our leader. She's a senior. And I'm not really sure what are we going to do next year without her. But I wish her the great. She's been great and she's had a great career here. And I believe that if she is going to keep doing her job, we, we can make a difference in NCAA this year. American will learn its NCAA tournament destination and opponent on Sunday, December 1st during the selection show on ESPNU at 9.30 p.m. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Jimmy Johnson.